quick and easy little hack using something that's free at most hardware stores although you can also buy them at the paint stores they're really really cheap it's like a dollar for a package of like 20 i think these are just paint stir sticks they're flat they come in several different lengths, I think from anywhere from like six inches to, I think this one is 14 inches across. So basically what I've done is I just use these to reinforce thin styrofoam or anything else that I have that needs reinforcing. I just use that wood glue that, that I showed earlier in a video, the wood and styrofoam glue. I put it on the back, set them down on my surface. I put a weight on them usually on a flat surface. This table's a little bouncy, so it's hard to see that, but put them on a flat surface. And when they're done, it's this really nice sturdy brace on anything that I'm making. So this is great, a cheap option. Here's something else I like to use this weld bond for. This piece of styrofoam that I had up, I had screwed into a tree. So when we take it down, it obviously has a little hole here from where the screw was. So the easiest way in my mind to repair this is I take some of this weld bond I stick it in there, squirt it in, put something on the back in case the hole goes all the way through, usually just a piece of wax paper because nothing sticks to wax paper. Then I fill it. When it dries, I'll take it and I'll paint over it and it's like the hole was never there. It's a nice hack for using um, styrofoam, for reusing it, getting rid of any blemishes or anything like that, any divots or dips or anything that gets in your styrofoam when you're making things. Here's a good little hack for when you're working on surfaces outside that are a little bit more delicate and you don't want to have to worry about setting something down too hard or setting your hammer down too hard, which I've done many times in the past and really upset some tables. So what I've started doing is underneath my blue tarp that I put down on my tables, I first put these garage pads. Now you can find these at garage sales, you can find them at Walmart fairly cheap, but you can get them used just about everywhere and they're really, really cheap. So I just put a layer of that down first, as you can see, because under this table, this is one of our outdoor tables, and I don't recommend using these kind of tables, but it's what I have. So I just basically put this down first because this is a glass surface and I don't want to have to worry about setting my hammer down too hard. And then I cover it with my tarp. And it's a nice, flat, soft surface. Things balance on it easily. Um, it gives it a little bit of give on everything that I put in, which is nice to have. And it's a nice way to protect your tables. Nice, cheap, easy way to protect your tables.